Well, hello everybody. This is Bud welcoming you to another day in the Lifelong Vlog Vlog Challenge. I trust that your day is has gone well for you. I know mine has um, mine has gone well, and uh, I wish you all the best. The typing for today: 44 words per minute, 15.3 error percentage, in a time of eight minutes, eight seconds. So. <clears throat> how is it going? We've talked before how that in order to improve in this thing, we have to approach it conscientiously, at least in the beginning. Uh, certainly uh, more for those of us who have fewer skill sets, the specific skill sets that are required in order to uh, be uh, successful in this network marketing business model. Um, actually, I was going to say something else, but the whole um, conscientiously uh, word actually reminded me of something I heard that I think would benefit you, and that is the four levels of consciousness. And <clears throat> you might want to say the four levels of proficiency, but... Uh, the consciousness is what triggered, and so we'll use that. Um, there are, again, four, and they have been described as the unconscious incompetent, the conscious incompetent, the conscious competent, and the conscious, or rather, unconscious competent. So again, <clears throat> unconscious incompetent, conscious incompetent, conscious competent, and unconscious competent. And basically what that's saying is that in the beginning, there are going to be some things that you are not aware of that you're doing or not doing that you need to not do or do. Um, and you're not even going to know what a lot of these are. That would be the unconscious incompetence. There's things you don't know, and you don't know that you don't know. <laughs> okay, as you progress a little further, and hopefully this is not a time-intensive process, but <clears throat> as you progress, you're going to become increasingly aware. If you're applying yourself, taking... <clears throat> what it is that you're learning and applying it, then you're going to realize that <clears throat> not only are you getting better in the things that you are aware of because you are practicing, but you're actually having to devote some level of conscious awareness to the fact. You know, okay, I have to do this. Oh, yeah, don't forget that. And, oh, and remember uh, when I do that, that you got to do this and this and this. And, you know, so on and so forth. So you're, you're still incompetent. There's, you haven't reached a high level of competency, but at least you're aware. So you're a competent incompetent. Okay, you're not so naive as to think that you know it all or that you know better. And you may develop ways and means over time that exceed what was handed to you, but, you know, starting off, uh, you're going to be, um, I think if you're wise, uh, you're going to be sticking to the plan and uh, getting the things mastered that you have to, and then once that is accomplished, uh, building from there. Uh, the next level would be the conscious competence. You are just as conscious in your competency as you were before in the previous stage, conscious of your incompetency, but you've been conscious of your incompetency long enough that you've, uh, and, and you've been diligent, you've been regular and consistent in the application of things, that you're actually getting to a point where uh, you're gaining some competence but you're still having to do uh, the thinking. You're, 
you're good, but you're 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 not second nature yet. Things are not just happening. You know, you're having to still uh, put forth some 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 conscious effort, some some thinking, some thought processes. Uh, and then, of course, the fourth and final level of competency would be the unconscious competent. That's the person who would be akin to your expert or your pro, the person who's doing what they have to do, when they have to do it, how they have to do it, and for all the right reasons and getting the results, but they're not spending really any amount of time or energy, thought processes, whatever, uh, insofar as what it is that they're doing and how they're doing and everything I mentioned before. So that's the goal. That's where we want to get. And <clears throat> it's been said that in every endeavor, it takes about 10,000 hours. Okay, 10,000 hours. If you do the math on that, that's uh, a little over six years, almost seven years. So I'm not sure how many hours a day, if that's four hours a day or eight hours a day, but uh, whether it's one or the other, it's, it's still a lot. It's, it's the same number of hours regardless. So, um, you know, don't expect right out of the shoot that you're going to be a, uh, you're going to be competent uh, or even uh, conscious competent. Expect that you're, you might be, and in some areas, uh, perhaps competent, uh, unconscious or conscious, but uh, probably uh, for most of us, certainly the case with me, and I would venture to say the majority of you all, um, we're going to start at the incompetent levels and in large part at the unconscious incompetent level. It's just some things that we don't know that we need to know. <laughs> we don't even know. It's like asking a question. I don't even have enough information to ask uh, you know, an intelligent question, to even know that I should be asking a question, okay? That sort of thing. Anyway, uh, you've gotten the typing results. Uh, I've blathered on enough. Uh, let's call that a wrap. This is Bud signing off. I welcome you to, or rather, I look forward to the next time we can spend time together. Hopefully that will be as soon as tomorrow, but uh, if not, then hopefully sooner than later. But in either case, until then, do take care and keep applying these, um, these techniques, these strategies, these things that we uh, were talked about, that we prepared for, that we should be implementing now. And again, we want to, we want to benefit uh, more quickly from our activities. You want to do something, you want to take some time out and evaluate what you did, whether good or bad, understand, you know, the rationale or, you know, the results and why the results, make the adjustments um, in the next time that you go out and do that repeatedly, do that regularly, do that consistently enough and we will improve um, and we'll have something that we can uh, pass on not only in what we say but in what we do. We will be modeling success. Okay, and of course we know success isn't limited to finances, it's health, it's, um, it's wealth, of course, it's, um, it's our relationships, it's all these things that make for a whole person, a strong family, and a stable society. That's what we're shooting for. We're out of here. Thank you, and good night.